Hello world, this is Prophet Walker coming to you again. I wanted to encourage you that uh, you need to stay on God's blessing list. I repeat, stay on God's blessing list. The Lord told me there is a list and everyone on this list is going to receive a special, some special, abundant, gold level, tremendous blessings. He says, stay on the blessing list. This is like, this is like no other uh, blessing before. He said, stay on the blessing list. So there's some people out there. God is giving out wealth, abundant amounts of money. He's giving out properties, houses. He says multiple houses, commercial uh, properties. He's giving out cars. He's giving out um, just business businesses. He's going to bless overflow. So, uh, and God is just blessing. He told me specifically, actually a prophet prophesied. And as he prophesied, I saw it. He said he saw my face on a dollar bill wearing a George Washington wig. Uh, and uh, and I saw it. Uh, but then most recently, uh, I've been prophesying to other people. And as I get into the spirit, I've been seeing, uh, prophesying to people. Not I'm not talking about no small money. I'm not talking no pocket change. I'm talking about wealth, an abundance from God uh, for a lot of prophets, a lot of men of God, saints, uh, that God is going to bless abundantly. And just in the last couple of days, God has just shown me for uh, two or three, three, two, or three uh, two or three other people. There's a great wealth transfer that is coming from God. God is blessing. There's a specific list of people who, for whatever reason, for ministry, for your trials, for your trouble, for your obedience, your obedience, that God is going to reward you. And it's, it's like about to drop from heaven. You're on the cups of this wealth. You're about to receive Hold on. Keep the faith. Be encouraged. Stay on the blessing list. Stay in God's will. God has literally been telling me gold and fishes. Gold represents the most precious element and wealth. And I'm talking about abundant millions of dollars. Uh, multiple stream, streams of income. Uh, he also has been telling about the anointing. He's given about a strong level of the prophetic anointing. Uh, prophesying. Um, all over. Um, he even told me there's a prophetic cruise. People will go on a cruise to enjoy life and learn to prophesy and prophesy and be edified. He's taking the church out of the four walls of the church and people. He wants people to enjoy life. He wants people to be blessed. Twins. God is multiplying babies. A lot of people will be having twins. God is a prophesy. Um, give me, that's a prophesy prophecy that God is a gift from God. Only God can create life. And God just God be showing up when he be having twins, triplets, quads. They, they are coming. Um, marriages. People who've never been married. God want to see you married. God want to see you happily married. Um, children. It's some, gonna be some blessed and anointed children. It's gonna be some Samuels. Children speaking the words of God and. Uh, Mm. I'm just, it's some blessed children I know even as we speak. And uh, it's, it's one one particular baby that uh, God uh, was saying the baby is anointed. Every, every last one of this, my brother's children, children are anointed. The anointing is flowing from the, from the mother and the father. From, from the father and the mother, the anointing is flowing. So it's, it's some anointed families. God, it's just not about you. Uh, even with Abraham, it wasn't just about Abraham. Uh, God says he was a father of many nations. He changed the name from Abram to Abraham. And Sarah, Sarah, was, became Sarah. And she was the mother of many nations. And they produced Isaac, the child of promise. A lot of y'all have, have met, uh, your, a lot of Abrahams have met their Sarahs. Mm, a lot of Sarahs are meeting their Abrahams. And you're producing Isaac. You're producing sons of promise. You're producing children who are anointed. God has already made a plan for their life like Joseph. Of greatness. Of ministry. Of uncommon wealth. Of doing great things. Children worshiping, praising, prophesying like Samuel. It's going to be some babies prophesying. I, I'm, I'm not lying. God has already one particular of uh, the children. God, God told me there should be a book about this child. A book about the child and what the child's name is Israel. So the book is called Israel Speaks. The baby. The baby. Not, not when he grows up. The child. The baby. And I'm going to give you a little nugget. The baby. The first word this baby spoke was Abba. Mm, father. The baby. And if you see on Facebook, uh, YouTube, there are other ones. God is anointing. The anointing is strong. And there are blessings he has for you. God, seeing your trials and troubles. God wants to bless you. He, um, he also said that um, 
the anointing golden anointing was for healing and miracles to be performed just spend the time in worship uh, the anointing would enter in your hands have faith to pray god's been telling me i pray non-stop now uh, I'm praying for healing. I'm praying for impossible. There's no such thing that God can't heal. Uh, I'm praying for healing. And he even told me this quote, uh, 1 Peter 2 and 24, seven times as I pray, a miracle is happening as you speak the word of God. There's anointing for healing and miracles. Anytime you hear someone uh, sick, you pray for them. You pray for them. I, I'm, I'm on Facebook. I see somebody sick. I pray for them. I, I'm in, in the community. I pray for them. God is going to heal. God is, it's, 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 there's an abundance of an anointing that's coming it's, he says the gold, I keep saying gold, gold nuggets, uh, gold mountains, uh, gold, gold uh, uh, in the spirit. I see uh, ch uh, coins falling in the spirit, money falling in the spirit, like uh, cash up. I've seen that in the spirit. God is blessing people. Also elevation. Many of you will be elevated. I keep hearing that. I'll see someone and God, I will hear their spiritual title. If I don't hear their spiritual title, God, will, I'll know it. Let's say if it's someone I know, they're a pastor, they're a prophet. God will say, speak up. Speak the next level. If they're a prophet, say they're a pastor. If they're a pastor, say they're a bishop. If they're a bishop, say they're an apostle. Speak that over them. Edify them because it's happening. Some of y'all, you don't have a title yet, but it's there. God is already, he's already wrote it in the plans. He will reveal it to you. And God wants you to believe every position that's in the body of Christ, everything that's in the Bible. Believe that I, you, can walk in every one of those positions because God is elevating people. It's time out for saying, I, not me, the pastor. No, it's you. You will be prophesying. He said, in the last days, my sons and my daughters shall prophesy. Prophecy, God is just a, it's going to abound. There will be prophets everywhere. God even told me about a prophetic cruise. People will go on a cruise and be, will be prophesying, will be learning about prophecy, will be baptized in his spirit and, and begin to prophesy. Um, he, was, he even told me about a boat. God was like, I'm, I'm fasting and praying. God says, I'm going to give you a boat. I'm thinking about a little old fishing boat. No. And once I, I've stopped saying, there's no such thing as a little blessing. There's no such thing as a little blessing. No such thing. Um, so God has given abundant blessing, luxury cars, mansions. Uh, I, I, I keep seeing houses, not just a house, huge houses, uh, two-story, three-story houses, houses with granite in it. And God told me, me, you need to get used to nice things. Get used to nice things because that's the type of things um, God wants want, God, God wants to bless us. Um, God has also said properties. I see y'all. Um, praise God. Uh, he, he wants people not just to own their own house. Uh, he wants people to have multiple homes, multiple streams of incomes coming in. Not just real, uh, residential properties, commercial properties. He even told me towers and cities that individual people will have like a village. They will have multiple um, multiple houses doing so much work for uh, ministry, but the house is a blessing for them. Um, and don't think that God doesn't understand what money is and think doesn't know that we need money and wealth. But some of this, and understand me, get this, a lot of this has nothing to do with what you're going to do. It's something that God has planned. He is going to give you the instructions how to get this wealth. Some of it God is going to bring you away like the children of Israel when they left Egypt. Moses told them to go to Pharaoh, go to your, your, your servants, your masters, and borrow gold and silver. That was Those were instructions from God. That wasn't something that they said, well, let's go find a job and do. And some of you are in jobs. God is going to bless your jobs. But there's some supernatural, it's some blessings that the Father wants to give to his children. And he's going to give you instructions on the business. He's going to give you uh, instructions on the properties. He's going to, God is going to, tell you what to do and how to do it and how to move and God says think big don't think small don't think well I just have one house the house that I'm in look let me pay it pay this off no God says what ask what you want have two or three houses what uh you can sell one and get a lump sum or that have a, a check coming in every month for however much 800 a thousand however much that mortgage is coming in to you for your family generational wealth um God has just been saying, stay on the blessing list. Um, and so I encourage everyone to keep being obedient. Keep serving God. Uh, I know plenty of people. There's even some people I'm seeing in this feed right now. 
God has already told me elevation. Glory to your name, Jesus. God has already spoken elevation. I, I see Sabrina. Ele, uh, yeah, elevation. Rosalind, come on now. Elevation. Hmm. And um, keep doing well. God loves you. Not just that. Your children, children are blessed. Keep speaking life of your children. Encourage the children to reach up and grab the star. Grab the blessing from heaven. Be obedient. God said, call it. Speak those things that are not. God said, me and my mama, we was just pr praying. My mama started speaking about a laptop. I literally saw a laptop form in the spirit. And God said, uh, you think that ain't real, don't you? Oh, no, I believe it, Lord. You need, God said, speak it. There, there's a warehouse in heaven with your name on it. And there are angels that descend to give us the blessings. But some of those angels can't move until you ask. You have to ask for the blessing. Once you ask, they come. I don't know about you, and I'm praying for you, but every blessing in my storehouse, in my warehouse in heaven, I want every last one of them. And I hope that you receive all yours. So it was just a word of encouragement. Stay on the blessing list. God has an abundance of blessing. Um, even he said fishes. Fishes represents uh, in the Bible several instances where God multiplied the fish. He, someone brought a basket of fish. The little boy brought the basket of fish. He got prayed and he, he multiplied blessing. Uh, the disciples were uh, fishing. They couldn't fish, find any fish. He said, throw the net over to the right. And he, it was a supernatural catch of fish. There were so many fish that came into the net that the net broke. They had to ask people to help to get the net into the boat. See, it's God going to do the multi multiplying. You're not going to have to tussle and bustle and work like that for these blessings. Uh, they're gifts from heaven. Um, even like, like, just an example. Santa Claus has this big sleigh and a big bag full of blessings. The Lord has an abundant amount of blessings. He wants to reward us for. Keep doing a good job. Keep the faith. God is blessing. And I hope we all just receive every blessing God has for you. And God says, ask. Make your request known. Whatever it is. Whatever you want. If it's a secret business you've always wanted. A business you tried and it didn't work out. God said, ask. Ask for it back. And and, and you will receive. Mm, I'm seeing cookies for some reason. Um, I don't know what that means right now. Maybe uh, uh, it's a hospitality someone. I don't know if you have a gift with baking cookies. I don't know why I'm seeing cookies right now. Um, but um, whatever it is, let, let no, the Lord know. And he will bring it to pass. Um, so um, I just uh, wanted to, just felt like I need to get that out of my spirit. Uh, and I pray uh, that everyone here, you stay on the blessing list. Uh, pray for others. And um, prayers is so important. Uh, God has been telling me to pray for people. Pray for people. Uh, he's doing, he's doing miraculous things in people's lives, healing people. Uh, the things that we think are impossible. That's the things that God want to heal. Do not doubt that God don't want you to pray for someone. Not the pastor. You, us, everyday people. Pray for people who are sick. Pray for your family members. I pray for people. If I see you at Walmart and you're in a wheelchair, you might get walked up on. And I'm going to ask you, can I pray for you? Is there anything I can pray for you for? I'm not ashamed. I'm not, I'm not afraid. Uh, they're in need. And we have the keys to the kingdom. We can offer them prayer. And majority of the people I ask, they're ready. And they're they they, 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 they ready to receive it. So um, God has been on me hard about prayer. I'm always praying. We got to cover people. Um, he said, the, uh, the fervent, effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You have power. To bring healing to people by your faith and you and you praying over people. Even God told me to pray and quote First Peter two and twenty. Uh, First Peter two and twenty four. So I paraphrase that when I pray that uh, He bore our sins in His own body on the tree in Calvary, Calvary, and by His stripes we are healed. I quote it seven times. He specifically told me to quote it seven times, and a miracle would happen, breakthrough would happen, and God is healing people of of backs. He he's Restoring backs and bones. There's a there's a there's a storehouse in heaven that has bones in it. There's brains in it. There's all the organs that we have. God knows what we need. He will bless us with the divine healing that we have. Issue people have issues. God wants to heal, but He uses us as vessels to bring the healing. So don't be afraid. Don't think it's the pastor or anyone else. Pray for people. Um, and I just encourage. Uh, I encourage everybody just to um, let God use you and there is greatness uh, for you. And believe with every position that's in the body of Christ, believe that you can walk in that. 
You can walk in the fruit of the spirit. You can walk in uh, wor giving words of knowledge, uh, pr prophetic words. You can walk in the gift of healing, gift of miracles, uh, administrative gifts. Believe that you can do all that. And that's just you believing and being ready vessel because he already has a plan for you that so you can just move forward on it. So uh, God says stay on the west, stay on the blessing list and uh, I pray wealth and blessings to you and your family in Jesus name.